I've been searching for years for what I really wanted to do. I saw photography for myself as a, as a great way to um, make a living but do something that I absolutely enjoyed. And I remember the moment I was in Los Angeles at a Dwayne Michaels exhibit in MoCA and I realized I wanted to be a photographer and I started to cry. It was something that changed my life forever. Or maybe right here so I could get this whole area. There's nothing really that's going to pick up a lot of glare so I don't have to worry about that. Okay? So I'm just, I'm always thinking about how do I set up the next shot. I think it's great to pass on the knowledge and to show people what's possible without them having to reinvent the wheel. I reinvented the wheel a lot of times and it's so much easier. Learn from someone that's a pro at what they do and have that knowledge passed on and then to build on that. Umbrella, umbrella, light outside behind this window coming in this way. You need auxiliary lighting. We might need to do that today. You need to light the next room so that the brightest light source is typically deepest into the photograph. So to be able to engage people and have fun in class, it's experiential also. So I'd rather have people just have a ball in class. Like, yeah, you're there to learn, but you're there to have fun too. Life is just really short, so why not have fun doing what you love to do while you're doing it? Let's take a look at the original image. Nothing done to it at all. You can see that uh, verticals need to be straightened out and it's kind of dark and a little bit muddy. Let's take this image from scratch. Remember what I said is that almost everything is done in camera so I know I need to straighten up the image a little bit and there's actually an auto lens profile and let's try that. That looks really really nice. I'm gonna go in for a second into... It's great to be able to teach and to be able to share the knowledge but it's even better when someone comes back to you and goes wow or their aha moment. It's the best feeling in the world to be able to teach someone and have someone come back to you and say, what you, what you taught me was so valuable. Technology is really important in the form of it's a tool that we use to make an image. But having a strong foundation is what's going to be able to have you create repeatable results for your clients time after time. When you're a photographer, when you're a business person, when you're dealing with photography or the business of photography, you have to be detail free. Good enough just doesn't cut it. You'll never see someone at Wimbledon being just good enough. You never see a pro ball player or someone that's at their top of their game in business good enough. It's not about being good enough, it's about being the best that you possibly can be.